Cost the city of Cincinnati an estimated 250% more in management fees under the new parking lease. It's what WCPO digital reporter Kevin Osborne found in a memo breaking the story this morning on WCPO.com. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is live with details of that memo and the reaction to it. Tom. Well, Tanya, this is that memo from nationally known Walker Parking Consultants of Indianapolis. It was received on June 20th. The parking lease was signed on June 21st, but it never went to council members before that happened. This is the Port Authority's response to it, saying many of the assertions in the report are not reflective of the city's true position. Now, of course, this uh, the memo says operating expenses and management fees in the 30-year lease are way too high. For example, expenses for on-street parking are 257% higher than the city's most recent in-house experience. This is part of the Port Authority's 75-day window to review all aspects of this proposal. I think clearly, based on this consultant's take on, on the deal, uh, it, it shreds many of the arguments that those that supported this deal said from all, said all along, that they were maximizing value. Actually, what it appears to me, based on this, is that the city's being fleeced. The Port Authority is very clear. It refutes the Walker memo, and it also says that even if, even if some of what's in the Walker memo were true, which we don't know, then the Port is pursuing a very, very diligent process. Now, the final analysis from the Port Authority is due to be completed in September. New at 6, there are calls because of all this for a special council session and for a performance review of Cincinnati City Manager Milton Mahoney, Jr. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live at Cincinnati City Hall.